Hi there, good morning, it's John for uh, a very delightful Tuesday morning. Um, just spending a, a minute or two uh, giving you another art tip before I go to my art class this afternoon. Um, right, now I've given you two art tips already um, to the cost of probably about two pounds, um, which will change your art forever. You've got the blending stamps and you've got the blue tag, especially graphite pictures, it has to be said. Um, however, you can use them on coloured pencil and, and even things like Conte and, and things like that. So today I'm going to give you another art tip and in theory this costs nothing. Yes, nothing. Um, all you need is a pencil, graphite pencil, could be a Conte crayon, um, could be a piece of charcoal, a blended stump, which isn't necessarily the main focus for today and this, a pen. Now you'll probably ask them, why have I got a pen? It's a dried out old pen with no ink in it, or dried up ink anyway. So this can be used in, or as a starter, I should say, um, to the, the, the um, way of embossing. Um, now, what you do with this when it's dried out, and it must be dry because you don't want to get ink on your paper at all, is you can emboss into the paper and you can make things like whiskers, highlights, fur, things like that. And it's a very, very good way of doing it. Um, the only trouble with a pen is you only have one size stylus unless you buy different size stylus pens that are dried out because um, you can get a various range from 0.4 to 1.6 and probably even beyond them. Um, so you can get different sizes, but who wants all those pens? Um, and the other thing is, uh, you can actually buy a proper tool off eBay. Um, they come in sets, they have balls on the end, um, and they are all of different sizes. Uh, I think there's about five different sizes, and they do the same job as what this pen will do. However, to start with, the pen is ideal. Um, I have bought um, some of them styluses and bossing tools, whatever you want to call them, from a reputable dealer. Uh, it has to be said that the ball fell off uh, at the end and all I was left with was a spike. So that was, um, well, could have been potentially dangerous, I suppose. Um, but I use that now for other things like the scraping technique, which I'll probably get to in due course. Um, so yeah, the cheap ones are just as good. Um, so I, I wouldn't say uh, don't buy the dearer ones, but the cheap ones are just as good. So go for the cheaper ones and get yourself started. So anyway, I'm just gonna show you what I mean by this. Um, you'll see here that I've actually done this video earlier. Um, <laughs> uh, don't press pause when you mean record. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So I'm now having to redo this. Right, so sorry, I had to nip off. Um, my middle son came round and he bought my Father's Day present, um, which he didn't need to do. I keep telling him, keep his money, but you know what kids are like. They love dads and all that. Anyway, he bought me this Gary Newman signed CD. <gasps> I was meant to see Gary Newman about two weeks ago in Norwich and uh, sadly I forgot the day. I thought it was in November for some reason, but he bought me this to make up for it. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. Gary Newman's fir uh, it was the first signed one I've got. I've got his whole collection, um, but this is the first signed one, so I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with this. Um, and uh, I do hope to do Gary Newman's uh, portrait one day. Um, and I have been in touch, but to no avail, unfortunately. It's, it, it just seems like he just doesn't get the message. Um, so I'm pretty gutted about that. But one day, you never know. Anyway, back to the video. What I was get, just about to do was to show you exactly how to do this. So. Um, what I need to do is to, uh, as I've done here, I'm going to draw the head of a cat, okay, and I'm going to draw the ears, okay, I'm going to turn me off so you can see what I'm doing, 
Right, I'm going to draw the ears. And the eyes. And the nose. And the mouth. Right, now as you know, cats have got whiskers. So, you plan when you're doing your initial stages of drawing where you want indentations to be. So, whiskers. I'll indentate that. So, it's basically I'm drawing. And I can use it for a highlight in the eye if I want. Okay, I can use it for soft fur highlights wherever I want them. Fur out of the ears. Right. And then you carry on with your picture. Safe in the knowledge of knowing that your white highlights are going to show up. Now, this isn't the best paper because this is textured anyway. But if you were to do this on a slightly smoother paper, it would be good. And you must, must, must do it on a heavyweight paper. But I'm just going to shade things in so you can see. And then I'll show you closer to the screen. You must make sure your indentations are hard and strong enough. <coughs> so there, you can see the concept. I'll show you the old one I did. There, you can see it there. Now this part here is where I did some fur. So you can use this technique for fur as well, but what you've got to do is to work upwards. <clears throat> you can't work downwards because it, 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 well it just wouldn't work. But you have to work upwards so that these hairs overlap the previous hairs. And each layer. And then you might want some longer hairs here, say perhaps. And then some longer hairs here. Have to work upwards. So I'm just going to colour that in. And you can use this for grass and things like that. And you'll see that the darker you get, the more fur you'll get. So if I just show you that. Uh, sorry there. I right. hope you can see that. Okay. So what you can then do is you can divide parts of here by just colouring in darker areas. Maybe there's a shadow there that goes up into the hair. And you can blend that out. So I'm doing it upside down so it's quite hard. You can blend that out. And you can get some real definition in there of hair. Alright, so a bit like that one down at the bottom there. Okay. So you can use it for grass, hair, fur, details, anything. So that's the concept of that. <clears throat> so anyway, hope that helps someone. So in all the tips that I've given you will completely change your drawing forever. And they will make your drawing more detailed and more expert, more professional. Um, and we've only spent about £2 so far. Blenders, blue tack and a pen. Two quid. Bonus. <laughs> anyway, whomever, wherever you are, please have a great day and a great week. And I'm going to leave you from a lovely sunny Norfolk. Bye for now.